Hey class, here's the video for the science assignment on April 30th. And what we'll be working on today is taking more notes for our animal research project. Today we're gonna to be taking notes about the diet and the survival of our animals. The diet and the survival. So the supplies that you're gonna need for this lesson is your first note taking sheet um, this is where you'll take your notes about diet. And remember, you can take notes on either side of this sheet. For me, I like taking them here in the empty box, but you could also take your notes here on the lines or that's a place you can put your notes if you run out of space. So you need that page. You also need the second page for taking notes um, where it talks about the survival. And you guys, you can see that I've already actually color coded my uh, topics like I did for characteristics and habitat um, because the other thing I need is my resources. Um, remember how last time we took notes together, we use a different color to stand for each topic. So when we found um, something that was a characteristic, we underlined it in pink. When we found something that had to do with their habitat, we underlined it in red. Today, I'm going to be using purple anytime I find information about an emperor penguin's diet, and I'm gonna be using green anytime I find information about how they survive. So before we get started, let's uh, think about what information we're looking for um, in our resources. So for diet, we want to find, is our animal a herbivore, carnivore, or omnivore? So a herbivore, it's also pronounced herbivore, an herbivore is an animal who only eats plants. In their diet, they only eat plants. They don't eat other animals. A carnivore is an animal that only eats meat. It only eats other animals, it does not eat any plants. And an omnivore eats a little bit of both. So they eat some plants, but they also eat some animals. We're looking for what food does our animal eat? Does it have any prey? So if it's a carnivore or an omnivore, it's preying on other animals, where if it's an herbivore, you might just name the types of fruits or grasses that it eats. Um, maybe you could talk about their eating habits. So how does it get its food? Um, does it use a special strategy? And does it have a place in the food chain? This is not something we've talked about yet, but what that means is, so here's our animal. Your animal eats something, but something probably eats it. But if it doesn't, and that was, that's what we would call its predator. So something that it eats, we call that its prey, but something that eats our animal, that would be its predator. Now I know some animals are what we call on top of the food chain, which means they don't have any natural predators. Um, for example, the gray wolf is at the top of the food chain. There's, there's nothing that preys on it. It doesn't have any predators. It's at the top of the food chain, which must be a pretty nice place to be. That's what we're looking for with diet. Um, for survival, we, this is where we want to talk about any kind of adaptations that our animal might have. Any ways that it has, its body is changed or maybe its behavior changes so it can survive better. So for example, um, a lot of birds would migrate right? If, an, if most birds stayed in a place that was really cold over the winter, what would happen to them? Their body would get too cold and they probably wouldn't survive. Think of like a small little bird like a cardinal or a finch or a robin. They probably couldn't stand to have a lot of snow on them in the winter, so they migrate. Their adaptation and their behavior is they, they fly someplace else when it's too cold and they come back when it's warm. Um, Survival, another thing could be if your animal has camouflage. Some animals do, they try to blend in with their surroundings so they don't get eaten. Um, and if it has any kind of defense or offense. So if an animal uses a stinger to attack something that's trying to hurt it. If it has a hard shell so it can't get bitten. Those are examples of ways that it survives. I know this is a lot of information. If you have to go back and like rewind, you can definitely do that. So today we're taking notes on our diet and our survival of our animal. When we write our paragraph for this, okay? Our paragraph is going to include both the diet and the survival of our animal. We're not doing that now, we're doing that in a different assignment, but 
what that means is you need to have four total notes, at least four total notes between survival and diet. So that means maybe you can find three things about the diet of your animal, but maybe you can only find one thing about the survival. That still equals the four total notes. So again, to be clear what I'm saying, you don't have to find four notes for survival and four notes for diet. You can, you can take as many notes as you would like, but I don't want you freaking out if you can't find like, oh, I don't know if my animal is camouflaged or not. It's okay, it's okay. As long as you have four total notes between diet and survival, you're in good shape. So um, make sure that you have your note pages. If you're using the crayon strategy like me, grab those. If you are having your resources that are printed out, grab those. I'm gonna show you an example of what your notes will look like, and then you will do it on your own. Okay, so I have both of my note pages here, my pencil, my crayons, and I also have my resources. So the first thing I'm gonna do for notes is try to find information about the diet of my animal. Again, is it a herbivore, omnivore, carnivore? What does it eat? What is its prey? And where is it at in the food chain? So I'm getting pretty familiar with my resources. I've read them a few times now. So I actually made a little note earlier. It says that the emperor penguin, they eat mostly crustaceans such as krill, but they also eat fish and squid. This is absolutely information about their diet. So I'm gonna underline that. Underline, underline, underline. So I know that when I come back to actually taking my notes, I can write eats krill, fish, and squid. There we go. Are these three things, um, are any of them plants? Now you might not know what krill is. Krill is like a little shrimp. Um, if you don't know something, you could look it up. But I know that krill, fish, and squid are all animals, which means if it eats all animals, it is a carnivore. Very good, I've got two notes already. So I'm gonna keep looking in my resource. In fact, I'm looking here at the table of contents. I see there's a whole section about the diet of emperor penguins. So if I turn to that page, that heading says diet, that's probably a pretty good place to look. The emperor penguins diet consists mainly of fish, crustaceans, and cephalopods. If you have a hard time pronouncing them, ask an adult. Um, let's see, I'm gonna keep skimming. Fish are the most important source. It says the Antarctic silverfish make up the bulk of the bird's diet. Good, okay. Um, I want to learn a little bit more maybe about what are its eating habits? You know, how does it catch its food? I know what food it eats. I know that it preys on fish and shrimp and krill. It says here that the emperor penguin searches for prey in the open water of the Southern Ocean. Do you think that that's important information about how they get their food? Yeah, it totally is. So I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna underline this note, this fact about how the emperor penguin gets its food. It's not just delivered to it like a zoo, it has to go into the Southern Ocean. I also see here, it says one of the feeding strategies is to dive around 50 meters. Oh, so it gets the fish by diving. Great. I'm going to underline that and then I'm going to add that to my notes. I'm going to say it dives for fish and it searches in the Southern Ocean. And I notice I already have one, two, three, four notes. Um, that's great. I still need to do a little bit for survival, but since I already have my four notes, I don't have to be worried about getting four notes here for survival. So let's take a look at survival. As I was going through my resources earlier, I noticed that this resource actually started talking about adaptations right away. It said, 
To survive the severely frigid climate, emperor penguins are equipped with several special adaptations. That sounds like exactly what I want to read about. Four layers of scale-like feathers protect them from icy winds and provide a waterproof coat. That is great information. They have four layers of scale-like feathers. The penguins can store large amounts of fat, which insulates their bodies, while also serving as a long-lasting energy source. Again, penguins can store large amounts of fat. That's an adaptation which insulates their body and helps them survive. So, grab my pencil, come here, and write my notes. I'm going to say four layers of feathers. And I'm going to say store large amounts of fat for insulation. Excellent. Now, if I wanted to keep looking and keep reading in my resource, I definitely could. I would probably find a little more information. But for me, I have four notes about diet. I have two notes about survival. I am good to go. So as you're taking your notes today, remember, make sure you have at least four between these two. Um, if you have a hard time reading something, do not be afraid to ask an adult or ask an older sibling. Let me know, as always, if you have any questions. You're doing a great job, dolphins.